Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine and staying home safely. So welcome to the class. I am your computer and GK teacher and today we will do the exercise of chapter 7 introduction to scratch in previous video i have given you given you the explanation related to the introduction to scratch so some introductions are given to you so today we will do the exercises of the chapter 3 introduction to scratch okay so now let's start the exercises first i will start from the let's review that is in let's review you have some true or false okay the first one is scratch is not a programming language scratch is not a programming language is it scratch is not a programming language no yeah no no why no it is true or false it is false why it is false because scratch is a programming language so answer is F A L S E false. Okay. Now come to the next that is second point. The stamp block in pen block menu creates the duplicate of a sprite. I repeat again the stamp block in pen block menu creates the duplicate of a sprite. It means with the in pen block menu with the help of stamp block menu we can create a duplicate of a sprite is it true yeah it is true the spelling of true is t r u e true now come to the third point the pen block menu is used to draw on the stage i repeat again the pen block menu is used to draw on the stage is it pen block menu help us to draw on the stage yes pen block menu help us to draw on the stage so this statement is also true t r u e true now next that is fourth one scratch projects are saved with dot sb2 extension Scratch projects are saved with dot sb2 extension. Is it? Scratch projects are saved with dot sb2 extension. I have already given you the explanation in the class uh, and the class time. So you can remember it. Yes, it is true. Scratch projects is saved in dot sb2 extent extension. So this statement is also true. T R U E true. Now come to the fifth point. It is impossible to move a sprite. It is impossible to move a sprite. It is right. This statement is true or false? Can you guess, student? Is it? We can't able to move the uh, move the sprite on the stage. No, no or yes. Yes, it can be possible. So this statement is false. Why it is false? because we can move the sprite on the stage it is not impossible so answer this statement is false f a l s e false so students this is the review questions related to the chapter we will go through the next exercise that is exercise d answer the following questions before that i have already sent you the video of the exercise a b c that is tick the correct answer fill in the blanks and true or false so please write it in your fair copy and also fill up your book also whenever your school gets reopened you have to submit for the correction so just go through on it and now we will do the exercise d that is answer the following questions so the first question is explain in brief about scratch programming language i repeat the question again explain in brief about scratch programming language 
So, the answer is Scratch is one of the easiest computer programming language. I repeat again Scratch is one of the easiest computer programming language. It is used to create games, animated stories, projects and so on. I will once more I will go through the answer. Listen to me carefully. Scratch is one of the easiest computer programming languages. It is used to create games, animated stories, projects and so on. So, this is the first answer. Now, come to the next one that is second. Name any five main components of the scratch window. Name any five components of the scratch window and define any two. So, the answer is the main components of the scratch windows are menu bar, sprite, stage, block palettes, scripts and scripts area. Okay. Here it's asked any five components of scratch window, but I given you six main components. Okay. Just go through all these six main components and now we have to define any two main components. Okay. So, let's start. First is menu bar. First is what? Menu bar. It is the top most bar of the scratch window. It is the top most bar of the scratch window. It includes the options to save, open and edit a project. And second one is stage. It is the area where a sprite moves when you run a project. Okay. I repeat the answer again. Just listen to me carefully. Second. Name any five main components of sketch window. Define any two. I repeat again, the main components of the scratch window are menu bar, sprite, stage, block palettes, scripts and script area and define any two means we have to define any two components from these six. So, I will define menu bar and stage. Okay. So, menu bar. It is the topmost bar of the scratch window. It includes the options to save, open and edit a project. And second one is stage. It is the area where a sprite moves when you run a project. So, by this we have completed answer 2. Now, come to the answer question number 3. That is, what is the use of pen block menu? What is the use of pen block menu? So, the pen block menu is used to draw on the stage. The pen, I repeat the answer again. The pen block menu is used to draw on the stage okay now come to the next one that is fourth one now let's go to the question number four what is the use of the stamp block i repeat the question again what is the use of the stamp block the answer is the stamp block in the pen block menu creates a duplicate copy of the sprite present on the stage. I repeat the answer again. The stem block in the pen block menu creates a duplicate copy of the sprite present on the 
stage. So, this is the answer 4. By this, we have completed our whole exercise of chapter 7 introduction to scratch. So, please student go through on it. All of you fill your books and complete your fair copies. You have to write exercise A, B, C, D all four exercises in your fair copy. And whenever the school will get reopened you have to submit me for the correction and also learn chapter 4. Okay. So, thank you for listening me and be, be careful with cold, take care of yourself and stay home safely, be concentrate on your study all of you. Thank you.